Ladies, gentlemen, bodies of water, welcome to the Alchemy Lab and Happy New Year. My name is Lee and I am still playing Cassius in 2022. My name is Carl and in 2022 I'm still playing Tormund at the minute. And my name is Matt and in 2022 I am still the DM for the Shattered Lands, Streets of Mere. And we are on case number 13. 13. Thank you. Always a bigger fish. Mm -hmm. And we're on part four. So last time, last time, um, I had a very severe cold. And there was other drama to speak of. You were attacked by three, by two. Two. Large uh, airships that were chrome-lined and winged and, and very mean. Um, but you've managed, partly due to um, Alvalon's manoeuvring and partly due to your own firepower. And so part, very partly due place. to Tormund blowing up a ship and me blowing up a man's face. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, partly Fair. due to all of this. Fair! Fair! <laughs> fair. <laughs> and, and to be fair... You did. I did indeed. You did. He ordered fair. He <laughs> yeah. ordered it. He ordered it to happen. We just obliged with the order. Yeah. I mean, it would have been rude not to. And exactly. You just have, being a direct order. You caused a significant amount of chaos and are now heading back up to tier five um, on uh, the Delano's ship, and there is one skiff remaining. However, the escape is. Um, well, I mean, it's an escape, which is nice, but there seems to be a bit of an issue because Elia Delano is suspicious. She's a suspicious lady. She's, She's always eye... fucking suspicious, man. Mm -hmm. She's eyeing you up, Cassius, like a, like a fillet steak. So, we open where we left off on that yacht. Um, the ship is climbing. It's climbing between the tiers. You're basically looking out at a rock wall and Cassius, you are very aware that Tier 6 has just disappeared behind mm -hmm. the lip of the rock. Um, there are some ships rushing down kind of to investigate everything. A lot of people are giving you everything a wide berth as well. Mm -hmm. um, and you have probably about 10 minutes before you are over tier five. And from there, probably another another five or ten minutes before you hit the Delano residence. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing? Well, the plan has changed for Cassius. Mm -hmm. Looking at what was going to happen, he was going to get to tier six, tier six and he was going to bolt. He was going to dip. <laughs> this was going to be the closest he could get to getting out of there again with all of the information that he's got a new ally as well in Tormund the plan has changed but he cannot go back this, this seems to be the only chance to leave mm. so he's going beautiful mind on this shit and thinking right how do I how do I do this? I can do it myself. I can fall down, feather fall. Do the... I haven't played in a while. What's the... Misty Step. Yeah. He can, he, can get, he can get down to tier five and not hurt himself. He can jump off this thing and not hurt himself. However, if I were to leave, if I were to be the second person to leave Torment. <laughs> I don't think he's ever joining us again. <laughs> Torment's in. He's thinking how to get as much in, like, uh, en enough war assets. We've, we've called this this war outside of this, the war assets, if any of you have played uh, Mass Effect 3, where you're getting the war assets for the final war. This feels very Mass Effect 3. There will only be one ending, but it will be dope. Um, and it will all be down to our choices, won't it, Matt? It won't just be blue, green, red. Right, right, if it is, 
I will walk out this door. Hang on, yeah. I've got to do some rewrites. <laughs> <laughs> there'll, there'll also be a yellow ending. Yes. No, no, there'll also be a refuse ending. <laughs> no. Where, where everyone dies. Add purple and yellow endings. And that's probably add the, fine. Add okay, the ending. At the ending where <laughs> the heartbreakers say, no, no, why don't I don't do that, you ghost child. No. I will. <laughs> I will throw my toys out of the pram and give them a middle finger like Bioware did. So yeah, we're, not, we're not salty. We're not no, salty about not at it. All. Not, not at we all. Are, it wasn't we one of our favourite trilogies people. of all time. Um, Just back to D&D. Anyway. Yep. Um, so Torment, mm -hmm. um, Cassius is looking pensively over over the side and in his beauty, is in his mind palace. What are you doing? I'm noticing this and probably heading over to him because okay. I don't like Elliot's suspicion. And yeah, if she's going after him, I'm on that block by virtue of being, of being I'm the handler. Right. Any idea how we get out of this one? We jump. Sort of look over the side. Not now. But when we get to tier five, we jump. Okay. What about Al? This is what I'm thinking. How can we? How many can we bring? I'd like to bring Al. The girl's a good shot, but we don't know her. I wouldn't trust her. She's a lordling's daughter. It's not a wise to play. She'll be very visible. The less we take is one, the better. It will be easy to conceal us as we get through tier five i have some contacts on the dock but we need to be fast we need to be careful and we need to we need to go you stay here i'll check out okay and uh, with that i'm gonna head off towards al mm -hmm. if i pass omar i'm gonna sort of just go just check on the pilot boss yes yes you you do that you do that Hey, while, while you're going, Torment, while you're going, make sure all of the cannons are still manned. I'll send the word around, boss. I will deliberately not do that, by the way. Okay. Because I don't fancy them having taken part shots with us at cannonballs. I have seen what happens if they land. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. In... Is, is it black? Um, are these like proper cannonballs with like black powder? I mean, yeah, effectively. Okay, Some of them I... are more like kind of large, large bore rifles, a bit like tank, um, tank, yeah, boomies. Okay. That's the word that we've just been saying. Tank, tank boomies. Tank, tank boomies. boomies. They're more like tank boomies. Something. Okay. Yeah, in that case, I'm going to just sort of head towards um, the pilots the cockpit and just check on out and sort of see if, if i can have a quiet word if, okay. if you could also roll up a tank boomy for gracchus at some point that'd be dope <laughs> <laughs> cool mm. shoulder mounted tank a tank boomy <laughs> I, I mean at this point i am just we are just saying gracchus into a weapons platform which feels thematically appropriate for him, i like to be it fair. i like it i mean I like he would too. get a tank boomy it could like pop out of a part of him. You'd have the tank boomy. <laughs> He's literally a tank boomy. Oh god. I just have this image of Calthar striding forward, dropping to one knee, fist pump, parting with that, and just over his shoulder. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, anyway. it would extend out. Yeah. I'm sure Brock can make that a thing. It's fine. Uh, actually saying that, that ship that went down, there's probably salvage on that we can get. Because it's gonna that went down Possibly. towards tier six. Possibly. Anyway. Not right now. Yeah, I'm beelining for the cockpit. Bosley not sprinting, but getting there quickly without drawing too much attention. Mm -hmm. ah. <clears throat> yes. How are you doing now? I'm ch I'm scanning for anybody else in the room. Oh, fine, fine. Um been a little while since I've done a combat flight. Not well, since the Is Void Crisis. Anybody else around? And here, no. 
how are you with okay we're playing the jump um for what reason Elia is suspicious and it seems to be directed at, at Cassius well I'm, Cassius, sure you, I'm sure you jumping will allay her suspicions quite a lot I'd rather jump and live than go home and be butchered Ellie is suspicious that someone sold her out, sold them out to whoever sent these two craft. Ah. The newest people who've arrived are going to be very high on that list, and everyone associated with them is by virtue going to be also tainted. You, Cassius, and whoever that lordling's daughter are, are going to be very high on that list. Make a persuasion check. Is the is the pilot's quarters inside? It is um it's outside. It okay. is outside, but it's it's on like a raised okay. platform. Dirty twenty. Okay. So you're insinuating there, I think, that um, if a certain ASMR were not being entirely honest about certain things, um, they would be digging. There would be more digging into their background and. Someone might uh, discover Ilya has a, a certain swindle. Ilya has a habit of once she doesn't, if she decides something is up, she'll have a dog with a bone, shall we say? And uh, it won't matter what the issue is if she finds something. If you've been found to be lying, your head's on the block. I see. So again, how are you with falling? I don't know about Cassius, but it's his idea. So I'm assuming he can get himself to land without any pain somehow. I can do the same for me. Can you do it? Can you fall with style, as it were? I can get. I can get all three of us down. Oh, okay. Without well, I've, okay. I I had a means for me to land on the ground if needed be as well. But uh, I mean, my my typically my modus operandi is flying rather than falling. Yes. Uh, if you can find a way to help me fall with some grace, that would be um, very helpful indeed. Without wishing to be rude, how much do you weigh? Oh, that's a good question. I'm gonna I'm gonna flutter Nix in in his his hmm. secret form, his invisible form. And you just you just hear my voice on your car. Is he coming? As long as we can get him down safely. Al, I can get you down. Cassius has a little companion friend who's very useful. Very good. Okay. Nick, right. Nick will be leaving now. I'm going Come to, to, have to um, get someone else to fly the ship, or or maybe not. Or maybe not. I would argue maybe not as a better option. As much chaos on the board here is a better thing than not. Give me the signal. I'll spin the wheel. There Understood. We would it be safer for us to be close to the cockpit to jump then? Rather than having Al trying to get over to us in all the confusion. This is what I'm thinking as well. I think really okay. I want them all. I'm going to gonna head back. I'll, Al. I can hear. Oh, your Nix is still here, yeah. As soon as you spin the wheel, we'll jump from the railing near here. Cassius, can you still hear this? Very well. This makes sense. Don't want to hit it. If Al suddenly does a strange maneuver like this and then runs across the ship, they're going to know something's up. Can you make it look like it's an accident? <clears throat> Flying purposefully badly. Bit choppy. I can potentially have some fun with that. Very well. They will have they'll have stores of black powder on the ship. I could fire bolt one of them, detonate it on the far side. Very it will well. throw everything off balance and explain the, the sudden the ship careering out of control. I like it. Okay, we meet there. The I'm going to sort of scan that area to see what the nearest, how far the so how wide is the the, the ship. The ship is about 40 feet wide. Okay. And how long? 
Oh, probably about 90 feet long. Okay. Um, are there deck there? And there are cannons on deck, yeah? Mm-hmm. There are some cannons on deck. I used one to shoot a face off. It, is there like an ammunition store or powder bag near one of the cannons at sort of the front end opposite of this of where we are? Uh, there would be ammunition on the deck. There would be a storage compartment in the deck below you where there would be a lot more ammunition. Don't necessarily want to blow the ship up and bring it down because I feel like that could be a hindrance to us rather than an aid. Mm. I have an idea. I'm going to find the nearest deck hand. Mm-hmm. Mr. Delano has ordered that all the cannons on deck be prepped with ammunition in case someone else makes a chance. Bring as much ah. as you can from the, from the store. Understood? Understood. Keep it specifically on the outside, the outward facing side of the ship, and we'll have to be hit from that side. Okay. Quickly. Quickly. How how would Nyx do flying at this altitude, Matt? Um, how would he do? Oh, like um, like in terms of chop. Well, just to get down to six, really. I mean, it's, it would be doable. It would mm-hmm. be doable for him. He's a little fey creature, so it'd probably be, mm-hmm. it'd be okay to do it. Mm-hmm. It would take him time, but he could do it. Time's fine. I just want to tell my old pal I'm coming home. Mm-hmm. If All there's right. any help, is it, if there's any help that we can get on the docks. Mm. If we could have a welcome party, that would be fantastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one can be arranged. <laughs> Getting off the ship is one thing. Getting from five to six is another. True. It's unfortunate, but can you fly us back to six? Um, well, we'd need a ship for that. No, I mean, can you fly us back to six from here? No. It's unfortunate, but if we can get to the docks, I can get us home. All the confusion should help give us a bit of cover at least. You've got a unidentified warship that just went down outside near. Mm. A lot of the people who would be wor- looking at us are going to be looking at that. And if this ship is suddenly damaged in a way that makes it unstable, well, the Delanos will need to get back home before they do anything else. Mm. All right. I'm guessing at this point I can see them start bringing up ammunition to the deck. Yep. So Perfect. you can see a couple of things. So ammunition is being brought up. It's being put next to all the cannons. Uh, powder and uh, powder and ball. Yep. You're also beginning to crest past the um, the tier five docks, and um, the ship is making headway. So Al is now turning the ship, and mm. it's making headway above the building. Okay. <clears throat> Just give me the word. You give us the word. <laughs> How about this? I'll cause the boom, and on the boom you spin. Boom we go. A boom is a okay. simple word. I'm going to. So, mechanics question here, DM. Yeah. If I was to throw a firebolt at a open powder. Mm-hmm. Um. How would it require a damage or just a hit to cause it to blow? It would require a hit to cause it to blow. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily. I don't need to do a lot of damage. I wouldn't need to do damage. I just have to hit it. Mm, no. Okay. It's purposefully reactive. To yeah, boom that boom. is fine. And what would I need to beat to hit a powered bag? Oh, okay. So you're aiming for one forty feet away, right? Other, other, other side of the other side of the ship, yeah. Okay, so other side and maybe toward the front. Ideally, yeah. Okay, what's the Ra- range, range of the spell? Is 120 foot. For okay, so that's, that's doable. That's doable then. It's just going to be a matter of accuracy. Yeah. So you're probably going to need to beat. Hmm. Moving. You're moving with it. I'm going to set the AC at 13. Okay. Can I, Mainly for can accuracy. I, can I fairy fire the bag? 
I mean, you could. I have one. I have one a day. <laughs> you could. What's the range on fairy fire? I don't know. I haven't used fairy fire in so long. <laughs> I, I always keep it. It's like one of those. It's like one of those items that you keep until the final boss, and then you finish the game, and then it's done. Yeah. Uh, Sixty foot. Sixty, and it's a radius, isn't it? It's twenty foot. Uh, uh, yes, it's twenty. So eighty at the corner. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Um, you wouldn't be in position, but you could fairy. You'd have to move forward to fairy fire the bag. I f I fancy my chances sands it. To be honest, yes. um, Very my. Well. My spell attack bonus is plus seven. So provided I roll better than a six, I'm hitting this thing and we we, we should be good. Failing okay. that, I have a backup plan. <laughs> okay. All right. right. We're golden. It's 22. All right. <clears throat> so you are passing, as you're passing over a series of villas, um... Torment, you. I'm guessing dance you're doing it. the. Yeah, do a little dance with it. Yep. Point it straight at the black powder. It sails past. One crewman sort of sees it whiz past and turns to look at you. But before he can say anything, hits the powder bang. and bang. <laughs> so this basically blows the cannon off of the ship and blows a significant hole in the deck and on the boom you feel the whole yacht just lurch to the side very sharply cool. uh, there is general confusion here they seem to think that they just got hit um, by a cannon so Perfect. they are looking that way gentlemen tell me how gents Tally ho. Yeah, I literally the same. I just. <laughs> yeah. I Assassin's Creed that shit backwards. <laughs> and Alvalon basically dives out of the um, the bridge canopy. Why well, actually, it's not even a canopy. He just jumps off the side. Uh huh. Now, when when he looks about sixty feet away from us, I start feather falling. I forgot that's a group thing, not one person thing. Right, so five. you feather fall all three of you. Yeah, I so yeah, it's uh, it's up to five creatures. Oh. All right, so the wind is whipping past you as you're heading down. I mean, you're not, you're only about probably 150, 200 feet above the buildings. Okay. Feather fall, probably as you're about to hit one of the taller ones you'll so it slows forward. to 60 feet per per six seconds so it's okay. 10 feet a second, feet a second. Yeah. all right it's gonna hurt yeah. a little bit it is gonna hurt a little bit i'll take a bit i'll take a bit damage it's fine okay so i need you to make dexterity saving throws first yes queen <laughs> I need to pick my DM up because I dropped it on the floor. Nice. And I hit the door with my Bokken, so the dog is now barking. <laughs> Matt, is that is that the Bokken from our our theatre days? It is a different Bokken. Oh, uh, okay. Is it a saving, sorry? Saving throw, yes. Okay, plus eight, 23 for me. Cool. Uh, dirty 20 for me. Cool, cool. Uh, so... As you're falling, Alvalon strikes the roof of the building that you're you're falling past and takes a bit of damage. Um, for the remainder, you fall 10 feet per second and you hit the ground. Now, I'm not sure. I don't think you would take much damage out of that. It's not... I think at that point, I think it's... I think it's a D10. I mean, a feather fall. If you're feather falling at that rate, I don't think you take 60 feet. So hang on, 10 feet a second. That's three meters a second. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it um, 2D4. 
because yeah so for normal damage. for normal falling damage uh at the end of a fall a creature takes 1d6 bludgeoning damage for every 10 feet it fell to a maximum of 20d6 now this is if you're going terminal velocity splat right we're not going terminal velocity splat no no so i've just said 2d4 and you take six points of bludgeoning damage okay all right to a maximum of 20d6 if you're falling from a great height yeah I mean, I think it speeds up as well. I like the amount of rounds that you fall. I mean, I suppose if you're to a maximum of 20d6, that's what 200 feet. Yeah. So I guess past that, you're probably going to die on impact. Yeah. So it's immaterial. Yeah. I mean, I'd die a lot quicker than that, I think. <laughs> Fun fact, I picked Featherfall because the first time we actually played this off camera, a siren um, beckoned me <laughs> into the abyss and I died That's in true. the first game. Well, you are you have landed. Um, a little bit jarred in the knees, but you are you're all relatively okay. Um, Alvalon looks a little bit sort of dazed because he hit a building on the mm -hmm. way down. Mm -hmm. Um Let's see. And it seems that um, the Delanos have not noticed you yet. Okay. There, there see seems it. to be enough chaos. You can see that bit of the ship is on fire from where you are. We need to go. Avalon, can you so, walk? Yeah, I, I can walk. It's all good. Lead the way. Right, it's tier dead. five dock. If I've Any done ideas? So. I mean, to be honest, we've got a few options to get down. I mean, tier the tier five dock is one. Um, we can either hijack one, talk our way onto one. We can stow our way on one. There are carts. There are supply carts that lead down via the road. There's always the supply light car. tunnels. The what? The light tunnels. We, so we're in an overhang at night time. They light up the with torches, and there are kobolds that run through tunnels and and change them over. Kobolds, so quite a tight fit. Quite a tight fit, but I mean, crawlable. And how long would that time. take us? Yes, It'll take time. I know some people at the docks. Oh. Very quickly, um, before we do this, let me give us a little helping hand. And I cast Pass Without Trace. Oh, good. What does this do? Everyone gets a plus 10 dexterity check bonus for stealth checks. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh, and we can't be tracked except via magical means. Ooh, so in other words, we leave no tracks or traces behind as we move. Very good. Very please, good. please, Matt. Please let me do a stealth roll at some point. Well, you're going to break like 30, aren't you? I would imagine that you're probably not going to want to make too much of a ruckus as you head no. to wherever you're headed. Are you headed to the docks? Are we headed to the docks? The light tunnel seems the longest. Yeah, and the hardest considering the size. Mm -hmm. There's also, hang on, there's a freight lift as well. But that's heavily guarded, I wouldn't. Do docks or transport down. How Seems. long? How long? How long would the flight take? No. Uh, probably half an hour. Start walking. I mean, it would depend on the. We go now. Start one. Once we're off the. Once we're in a ship and off the dock, it, we, we become harder to follow. Mm. All right. In that case, gentlemen, roll stealth. Because <laughs> I imagine you're doing this. You're not trying not <laughs> to be uh, seen. <laughs> I think Lee. Isn't your natural bonus like a plus ten anyway? <laughs> this is plus twelve. Uh, so you so you're getting a plus twenty two. So yeah, um, thirty two forty one. <laughs> um, so oh my god, I did that now. Just for so, that moment. Thank you, Carl. Cassius, I will never roll a forty one again in my life. <laughs> Cassius, you start walking and find yourself in the dark between the stars. Somehow, I, I go back into the phased. nether realm. 
You seem to have phased the never through earth. normal matter, and you are now suddenly in the uh, yeah. You, it's you crazy. are literally the, the, the shadows themselves. Yeah. Uh, mine is a twenty-seven. I mean, Alvaron Promise. got a natural twenty, so his is thirty something. <laughs> I just go take my hand, children. We're going to the Deathland. <laughs> 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 I think you. I think you went went through the shadow realm, is what you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, even we, even though he's right in front of you, you almost lose sight of Cassius. We go. We're going to see Flash, gentlemen. Woof, woof, woof. He's still. He's still my active ghost, actually. <laughs> yes, he is, isn't he? Yeah. Because I don't. I, do, I don't have a performance, and he's my performance man. <laughs> 